హాయ్ ఫ్రెండ్స్ నేను శ్రీనివాస్ మీరు చూస్తున్నారు కేబీ టెలివిజన్ వెల్కమ్ టు ఈ క్లాసెస్ ఉజ్వల భవిష్యత్తు ఉన్న సబ్జెక్టులో కెమిస్ట్రీ ఒకటి అయితే రసాయన శాస్త్రం గురించి టెన్త్ క్లాస్ కు ముందు నుంచే నేర్చుకుంటున్న ఇంటర్లో ఈ సబ్జెక్టు మరింత విస్తృతమవుతుంది అందుకే సీనియర్ ఇంటర్ స్టూడెంట్స్ కెమిస్ట్రీపై ప్రత్యేక శ్రద్ధ చూపాల్సి ఉంటుంది వీరిని దృష్టిలో పెట్టుకునే కేఏబీ టెలివిజన్ క్లాసులపై ప్రత్యేక శ్రద్ధ పెట్టింది అనుభవజ్ఞులతో క్లాస్ నిర్వహిస్తోంది మరి ఈనాటి కెమిస్ట్రీ క్లాసులోకి ఎంటర్ అయిపోదామా నిన్నటి ఎపిసోడ్లో కెమికల్ రోల్ టాపిక్ గురించి నేర్చుకున్నాం కదా మరి ఈనాటి కెమిస్ట్రీ క్లాస్లో స్టైకోమెట్రీ టాపిక్ గురించి తెలుసుకుందాం ఈ టాపిక్ గురించి కెమిస్ట్రీ బోధనలో విశేష అనుభవం ఉన్న త్రివిక్రమ్ గారు వివరిస్తారు మరి ఆ వివరాలేంటో తెలుసుకుందామా డియర్ స్టూడెంట్స్ టుడే విల్ డిస్కస్ అనదర్ వెరీ ఇంపార్టెంట్ బేసిక్ రిక్వైర్మెంట్ ఇన్ కెమిస్ట్రీ that is stoichiometry in this stoichiometry is the most important uh, conceptual work in the beginning so that all other chapters can be done very comfortably one should be very good at stoichiometry then only it is possible to understand and apply in other concepts stoichiometry is simply to understand like this calculations based on chemical equations when you understood what is a chemical equation when you understood how do we mean chemical substances interacting in terms of equivalence etc stoichiometry is following them to use the chemical balanced chemical equations to find numerical applications this is stoichiometry briefly so we can define stoichiometry also like this it is the work based on balanced chemical equations so one must be good at balancing the equations and understanding the concept of equivalence understanding the concept of moles etc before coming to the stage of stoichiometry as you all know what is mole concept what is equivalent weight concept and what is uh, chemical equation means how to balance chemical equation etc this is now an important concept to learn in stoichiometry our concentration only to understand in what ratio the substances are interacting and so you, how can we understand a substance of so and so quantity needed for a particular reaction or to prepare a solution of certain concentration etc etc suppose a chemical reaction is like this known calcium carbonate is a compound and it is the major ingredient in limestone etc if this is heated strongly it has the property of producing calcium oxide and liberating carbon dioxide so to analyze a sample that contains calcium carbonate for example limestone we must use the chemical reaction concerned to this decomposition process of calcium carbonate similarly in any other reaction if a redox reaction or acid base reaction any reaction when you know the reaction when you can balance that equation concerned from that this stoichiometric work can be done suppose i brought one limestone sample in that limestone sample i want to know how much calcium carbonate is present in it this is chemical analysis for that whatever work we do based on chemical equation only is this stoichiometry suppose here we have some compounds in the chemical equation one calcium carbonate giving one calcium oxide and also one carbon dioxide but this one two numbers we should understand as representations for the mole ratios for example you are seeing one calcium carbonate giving one calcium oxide one carbon dioxide in other reaction you may find differently suppose potassium permanganate when reacting with oxalic acid we have seen in other equation it will in this way react with two moles potassium permanganate 
5 moons oxalic acid will react. And how do you got those 2 and 5 numbers that we understand when you balance the equation that is a different one. So when you look at this balanced equation we can understand that potassium permanganate 2 oxalic acid 5 are interacting. What are those 2 and 5? It is to understand the moles ratio in this chemical representation of reactions that is called a chemical equation when balanced we mean these numbers representing the corresponding ratios of the substances by moles. So here 2 moles potassium permanganate is reacting with 5 moles oxalic acid and 1 mole calcium carbonate on heating produces 1 mole calcium oxide and 1 mole carbon dioxide. So, from this balanced chemical equations, we can make some numerical application to analyze certain samples as I said before. Suppose one limestone sample is brought. In that limestone sample is a raw material, in that how much calcium carbonate present and how much purities with respect to calcium carbonate etc. to know we need this application that is what stoichiometry. So, I will take that example of calcium limestone which contains calcium carbonate as major constituent and a sample when brought say I brought 1 gram of limestone. 1 gram of limestone contains how much real calcium carbonate is our question. So what we do we take that limestone and heat it and we see how much calcium oxide came, how much carbon dioxide came because from that we can understand how much is the substance calcium carbonate was present in the sample because in this stoichiometric work when you base on that concerned chemical reaction say here calcium oxide and carbon dioxide being produced the formation of the products interacting substances etc are certain mole ratio. So here when I brought 1 gram limestone in that some calcium carbonate present and that is going to give out some carbon dioxide. Say I found when this 1 gram limestone is heated in my observation in the practical work I got some amount of carbon dioxide like this. I got some 0.22 grams of carbon dioxide came out. What I am saying is when I brought 1 gram limestone and heated finally from that I got 0.22 grams of carbon dioxide came out and from there I want to say how much pure it is. How? Because the chemical equation concerned is this calcium carbonate heated and we got calcium oxide and carbon dioxide. In this equation what you are finding one mole this, one mole this, one mole that. This we can express as you like one mole, one mole, one mole correct. Otherwise one mole calcium carbonate's weight how much? It is gram molecular weight. It is for calcium carbonate 40 plus 12 plus 316s which are respectively atomic weights of calcium, carbon and oxygen. So it is 100. Calcium carbonate's molecular weight is 100 that we can find whenever you want. Similarly, calcium oxide's molecular weight is 56. Carbon dioxide's molecular weight is 44. Though originally a chemical equation when written we mean that in moles that is 1 mole giving 1 mole and 1 mole. You can also say that in this way because you know 1 mole's weight in each case we can also say that 100 grams of calcium carbonate if heated you get 56 grams calcium oxide residue and 44 grams carbon dioxide liberated out. So in grams also we can express it actually it is in moles but if you want you can express in grams. And in that 100 grams producing 44 grams or 44 grams produced by 100 grams. So 0.22 grams I got here means how much is calcium carbonate in this way we can make a simple calculation. That is 0.22 when coming out, out of the given way you must understand the amount of calcium carbonate present in that is corresponding to that. It is only 0.5. So what I calculated is the corresponding weight to the obtained carbon dioxide 0.2 grams of calcium carbonate. And that means in our taken 1 gram limestone as 